Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! My name is Anara and I am a photographer, graphic designer working cross-disciplinarily in a field of visual communication with a focus on the Australian music industry. Today we will be editing Big Z pictures! <laughs> show yesterday and oh, it was so good they are such great performers and I've been working with them for three years now shooting most of the gigs and I love working with them they're very fun they have great stage performance they're very powerful with the music and I love that we have really good dynamic on the stage because they let me go on a stage and I can get really cool shots and just know how we work I have already selected the pictures there was around maybe 600 of them the selection process for me is pretty easy I know what will work and what won't I already used some camera raw presets that I have and I think I might be changing a couple of them just because I don't really like, you know, when you, you have all your raws and they are in the camera raw and then you shift open, they open as a smart object so you can always go back to the camera raw and I don't like opening them on, on Photoshop and then going through one by one to go to camera raw and then put on preset, I'd rather do it in a camera raw for every picture that I'm planning to edit and then I just open it in Photoshop and if I need to change it, I will change it. That's my way of dealing with things. So we're not gonna edit all of the pictures. I usually send around, I don't know, it depends on the band and you know, how much I'm getting paid, but I try to send around 15 to 20 pictures because it's big as edit. There's usually around 20 to 30 and I don't send more just because I don't think it's necessary and it takes a while for me to edit so I feel like I better do less and do a better job than do more and do not as a good job if that makes sense. So these are the shots. I really like this shot. It's blurry but I don't mind it. I don't like the camera raw preset on this one. I hate these colors for some reason. This is kind of nice. I love this this one so much this one such power this one is nice a little bit of a close-up very sweaty this one is really sick you know I selected the best picture so they're gonna be great I love this one I love the angle I love this little thing happening here this is a little bit blurry overall good dynamic in my opinion Alex great shot I like Alex hair because it's always messy and it's always in the shot if he's shaking his head it'll look like a cocktail umbrella and Karen Felix yeah that's what we have okay let's go to this one and camera raw I hate this edit that I did preset to default so it's kind of nice I like the yellows in this color maybe I should go with this one I like it okay for this picture I don't really like the microphone. I might want to change it, but for now, I will start editing it as it is. And let's maybe start from selective colors. As always, I'm gonna start with selective color and trying to change the colors to see what I like and what I can emphasize. Selective color, let me. I wanted to learn how to explain you better because I'm not the best in English so that even more clashes with the fact that I don't know how to explain Photoshop because it all makes sense in my head and I know how it works but I'm not 100% sure if that's correct it just works for me okay so selective color command adjusts the amount of processed colors in individual color components look that doesn't say me anything so we're gonna roll with my way of editing because it's my channel and it's my way my idea how i understand selective color you know it's not it doesn't add a color but it adjusts the existing colors neutrals are midtones in my opinion whites are highlights blacks are shadows what is relative and absolute i don't know let's leave absolute don't really care there is a change but it's not gonna affect that much i want to have heavy shadows so with levels if you on rgb if you move the left one left one affects the blacks you know you can make it really black um this is midtones 
and this is highlights. And in the bottom, the blacks becoming grays and whites becoming blacks. Let's go to curves. Curves, the bottom left is blacks, the same as levels, you can adjust like this, if this is gonna go fading. So I always try to get like an opposite S and make it a little bit faded, but then with this, I kind of lower the highlights and then I add just a couple dots and just like, you know, slide up and down to see how it works and what things are changing. I like to make the opposite curves for red and green, but I don't think this is gonna work yet just because I already have adjustments and this is better if I don't have any adjustments, then it creates this film look. Okay, let's put on some paper textures. We can use my paper textures. Hell it's crazy, I know. I released my own paper textures. If you haven't watched the video, you can go check it out. And if you want to get them, you can go to my shop and buy them. I'll leave the link in the description. And let's grab a texture. I also have a question. Does anyone know good vegan protein? I have raw protein and it's without a taste, which I assume it's like, oh, I'm just gonna put in, you know, chocolate or vanilla extract and make it tasty. That protein is so disgusting that it's actually impossible to drink it. It's just so so awful and I'm just wondering if anyone knows a good protein like a hack I just don't like the uh, flower flavor it does not appeal to me at all so Alex, I think I'll have to get rid of you well such is life Sweet. Now all attention is to Curran. I can make it a little bit smaller so he would get even more attention I also will be using other textures because I like to layer things. I'll use my favorite texture, probably know what it is. It's really great. It gives a little bit of a grain kind of vibe. It doesn't make much of a difference. It does a little bit. Kind of like my textures so far that I don't need any other textures. Oh my god, the other day I was, I was looking for new album covers to try to figure out and edit and I decided to go for too good for you by this new popular girl what's her name i don't know but the photographer was petra collins i think and she had her bio saying i'll upload it is a multi-talented artist and director whose photography set the stylistic tone for much of 2010s. Isn't that a boss move? Like you just put in your CV that your photography set the tone for 2010s. Who are you? I agree, your pictures are great. But did they? Is that true? And you know, I can't say it's not true because you can decide if it's true or not. Like it's definitely cool, but that's crazy. You go, you know your worth. Amazing. Anyways, going back to this, I think this is done. I like how it looks like. Let's go for Ian. So, hi Ian. So this picture is pretty dark. I'll see if I can get a little bit more light. It's not even edited, so okay. Troy, sweet. I'm gonna go for this. The focus is not on his face and on his base, so that's fine. Not fussy about it at all. I like the shadow on his face though. Pretty cool. And yeah, I like a lot of things that are happening here. Let's start from maybe Q and situation. Let's see what the vibes of it. Oh, I like this. And then let's top it up with selective color. Yellow or green. Mm. Let's see what we can do with green. You know, we're just like test things. I want to see what new I can come up with because I usually, you know, I usually change the same things because I'm so used to, used to it. And sometimes I just want to switch things up and try and going, you know, changing the saturation and then trying to get the colors back. I like change them so... Ooh, this is nice. Mm, nice. Like I like the science. Ooh, ooh. Mmm. This is mad. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna put on a paper texture. 
I just heard something in my bathroom and I know that there is no chance of anything being there. But then I thought, imagine if you just a monster comes out of the bathroom, like Stranger Things kind of type of monster. That would change your life completely. Something that you've never seen and you didn't think that it existed. Do you guys believe in like ghosts and demons and all of that? Because, well, I do believe it. However, I do not want to test if it's true because I don't want to, you know, play with that thing because I believe that it, it exists. I'm kind of like totally convinced that it is real. Well, though, do you believe that vampires exist? Or like witches? Huh? Wizards and witches? Yes. Mm. Okay, doesn't matter. It's too much of a deep topic for the moment. The attention should be on Ian. Going back, just want to get rid of the microphone. What is happening elsewhere? Do I want to change anything? I kind of like the chaos. I like how these lights look like, that they're just like, bleh, like chaotic. I think I'll leave it as it is. I don't like my texture that's on this picture. I reckon I'll use from texture fabric. When I'm removing things, I usually make two layers, this one being the cloned layer and this one being a Gaussian or like copy clone plus Gaussian because it kind of blurs out but if you take the actual layer that you used to like clone and then blurred it out it would become see-through on the edges so I just make it then I, want, I like to duplicate them Also, they're not all perfect. These guys move so much, I doubt if I could get a perfect shot without it being blurred, without the flash. I was shooting on like this shot, like 200 or 400? 160 seconds, 160. So, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty low, I think, for action in the dark. Let's start with levels. I'd like to make a video and get Baker's Eddie on my YouTube channel to talk about stage presence because stage presence is so crucial to your performance. It's as important as your music because you you have to own the stage and you have to make sure that everyone feels the way you feel and they will because if you are great on the stage everyone's gonna be pumped. No one wants to watch band just like standing and playing and singing because everyone's gonna be Stage presence is so important and would like to get Big Eddie on my YouTube and talk about how they do it and what is an idea of it. How do they look at it? I don't like what's happening on his face here. What is happening to you? Where is this coming from? What the fuck? Uh, the question is if I want to leave Jamie in the picture. I feel like I want to leave the drums. I like everything what's happening. I might leave him. I think he's fine over there. Do I like the red? I'm not 100% sure, but we can change it. I like this. I think that's pretty... Do you? Do I think I do? No, I think I'll leave it with that. Yes, this is it. This is it. I know that these pictures are not really like different. So what happens when you start editing? Because I haven't edited any other pictures before those three today. And from that gig, and what happens when you edit things? For example, you need to edit 26 pictures, right? And you'll start editing them. 
and after six or seven pictures you'll realize that they all kind of look very similar you're doing what you know you can do you know select the color will do this then i'm gonna put curves and i put levels and i'm gonna go back to select the color i'm gonna put this 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 like it's kind of like automatic once you edit those six seven pictures something changes and you just like okay what if I try putting like hue inspiration or color balance? So what if I go to camera raw and switch things up and have like a different canvas to work with different colors that I haven't tried before? And that's where your best pictures come in. So when you're starting editing project, don't think about first couple of pictures because they won't be best ones, most probably. And edit as much as you can because at some point on 20th picture, you'll be so sick of what you've been doing that you'll have to find something different at least that's how it works for me everyone's listen is different well that's about it for today you know like subscribe share with your friends and your family if you want to get my textures they are linked in the description box below bye